kind of going back to the new record, man. Um, what are some of your favorite riffs on the record? I do this do this one um, called Howdy, and it's kind of my tribute to uh, Hee Haw, and it's like a total bluegrass. It's like that kind of wow. bluegrass type of stuff, you know. It's unbelievable. It's oh it's uh God. it's fun, you know, like do, doing that stuff. Um, you know, it just changes it up, especially at a live show, you mm -hmm. know. And it's like heavy, 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 and then you do something like that. Um, I could play a little bit of the song here, then you guys, uh, you guys will have it before anybody. But uh -oh. I'll play a little, Dude, I'll play a little bit awesome. of it, and you can cut this <laughs> and, and just, you know, uh, let's see. All that kind of stuff. I won't, I won't, I won't bore you guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bore us. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, we've had some conversations before, and how Hee Haw was uh, was a very huge uh, inspiration for yeah. you, young. I mean, I remember watching Hee Haw, and you know, even though I was a metalhead, it was like somehow they were shredding. Yeah, oh, they were totally. You know, shredding. I, I was this little metalhead, and I'm looking up there, and I'm like, you know, I, I knew it was. It was like country shredding. I didn't yeah, even know it was called was chicken fast. picking. I was just country shredding. You know, those are all arpeggios, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, all that kind of cool stuff. That's They're all just, you know, totally totally shredding up there. Yeah, I remember somebody said, the first time I heard chicken picking, and I was like, and then they said, this is what it is? I'm like, Country shredding, yeah. Right? You know, yeah. like like I, I never made that correlation. You know, I'm like, yeah, just country shredding. And what they did, which was so neat, is they would, which I do at the end of the song Howdy, they would, they're playing the song, and then the drummer will speed up. It's like starting to speed up, speed up, speed up, and mm. then it's like. You know, it's like totally, they keep oh, going, going faster, 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 faster. It's really fun. <laughs> and and as a kid, you know, I just am a fan of music and I just love music in general. It doesn't have to be metal or anything. It's it's just like if it's, if it's well done, why not? <laughs> My ringer. Oh, that was great. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll put that on silent now. Is, is there... um. Is there another riff on the record that um, you can't wait to play live? Yeah. 
you know, and it's kind of more, uh, it's hard to explain, but I, lo I like, my son is 15, so he listens to all this crazy music. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of the DJ stuff, and a lot of the DJ stuff has really good riffs. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how rad would it be to have a DJ, but, you know, he's up there with a laptop and he's spinning and he's doing all that stuff, which is, you know, it's hard to do. I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. But what if there was a DJ that could, like, that was doing all of these sounds, you know? If, like, mm -hmm. if he was performing, this one, um, I'll give you a little mm -hmm. taste of it. This is gonna be anybody that one. knows me knows how near and dear this is to me. <laughs> <laughs> It's that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, very driving. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, those kind of riffs, you know, are, so, are, are great. So when you're writing stuff like that, are you kind of envisioning what the crowd's doing when you're playing that? Or if, if something, if something catches my ear, I just love it. I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. You know, that's really, really cool. I just, I just uh, enjoy that kind of stuff. If something is hooky, catchy i'm like why not you know and uh doesn't matter if it's rock or that you know anything that's good yeah. i love it i love yeah. it